Hello, everybody. Ray Pedras of the McAllen Cable Network. Uh, in the studio with us today is a guest from South Texas College here to talk to us about dual enrollment. So students and parents, listen up, because April is a very important month. Tony Matamoros joins us. Uh, Tony, welcome. Hi. Thank you for having me. Dual enrollment, huh? Yes, uh, dual enrollment is one of the programs that SEC offers to our local uh, partner high schools across Star and Hidalgo counties. Okay. And uh, what we do is uh, we offer uh, students an opportunity to earn uh, dual credit and high school credit uh, in the program. Uh, and so we currently have over 12,000 students enrolled in the program, and it's been very successful. Okay, so this is uh, dual enrollment because uh, they're they're basically getting college credit while they're in high school. What grades uh, do do high school students have to be in uh, to enroll? Uh, well, it's, at SEC. It's primarily offered to juniors and seniors uh, at uh, traditional high schools, but we do have a host of uh, early college high schools, and in early college high school, students are able to take college courses while they're in high school at the uh, grade level, starting at grade level nine, uh, all the way to they graduate. So a lot of our students that are in the traditional high schools are able to graduate with a lot of hours while students are in early college high schools can actually finish their high school uh, career with actually a certification or a bachelor, uh, associate's degree rather. So it's a very, very good program. And, and what are the requirements? What do the students have to do to, uh, to go ahead and enroll? Well, first of all, we do need them to submit an application to SEC. That is always the first process. Uh, after that, we do ask them to submit any, uh, you know, uh, testing uh, scores that they've received. Uh, they can test either, uh, qualify either through their state assessment exam or there's other options that, uh, like such as Thea and Accuplacer that they can t take at the uh, SEC. Once we do have the test scores, the high school transcript, as well as the uh, uh, application for admission, uh, pretty much we handle that at the outreach department, getting them registered. So there's not much that we ask from the students and the parents because we realize that they are in high school and there are a lot of hurdles uh, mm -hmm. to apply and to register. So we handle most of the reg well, all of the registration at, at RCC. And what is the cost? It's actually free of charge. Really? Uh, SCC is actually a very affordable institution, and we're actually offering uh, this program free of charge uh, to uh, our students that are participating in this program. So on average, students are saving you know, hundreds if not thousands of dollars uh, for uh, the dual enrollment courses that they're taking. So free of charge. Okay, very good. And, and so if a student, let, let's say uh, they're, they're a sophomore this year, uh, by when do they need to, to apply? Uh, for their junior year? Well, um, we've already handled that at the Outreach Department. What we're doing is that we're uh, having application drives for the current sophomores, so by the time that they become a junior in the fall semester, they won't have to worry about submitting an application. So that has primarily already been, been handled by the Outreach Department. Uh, if they did not get a chance to participate in the application drive that we held at their high schools, then uh, we do ask them to submit an application uh, priority by the 1st of May, but for the most part, we've already ha have those uh, application drives at the high schools. Very good. Uh, I'm noticing in the notes here, it says something about cashing in your credits. What does that mean? Well, um, like I said, it is an affordable, um, well actually it's, very, it's free of charge, so yeah. students are actually have been saving uh, themselves hundreds and thousands of dollars in this program. So if they've already started, if, you, if these students, if you have a uh, son or daughter that has participated in the dual enrollment program, um, then we ask them to cash in, in these dual to degree events that we're going to be having pretty much because uh, you've already started something. And a lot of students uh, taking these courses don't realize that they're probably just a few hours away from finishing a certification or an associate's degree. So um, it is free of charge, like I said, um, they're participating in the program and not having to pay anything. So if you're able to come to our events at any of you know the events that we're going to be having at Star McAllen in West Lico, uh, then pretty much all you do have to do is register uh, for the fall semester. And, and the event that you're talking about is just around the corner, actually. It's April the 13th? Yes, it's a uh, dual two degrees. Uh, we're having dual enrollment as designated as the month that we'll be focusing on SEC. And uh, those events uh, we'll be having is on um, separate events at uh, starting at Star County, McAllen, and the West Local campus. Uh, and what we're asking is that uh, parents and, and students that have taken dual enrollment uh, credit hours to visit any of our, uh, those three campuses. And what we'll be doing is facilitating the you know, admissions, advisement, financial aid, and registration process for them uh, during those events. So that's what we'll be having. Hey, and what kind of classes do they take uh, while they're dually enrolled? What, 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 what subjects do, are they typically taking? There is a range anywhere. From, they can take academic courses, that, which are the core courses that you'll be taking at a college or university, mm -hmm. such as history, government, English 1301, and science courses. Uh, and there's also the career and technology education courses, which are more technical, such as nursing. We have welding degrees, uh, excuse me, courses that they can use for uh, a certificate or associates at SEC. Uh, so there's a range. I mean, it just depends on the uh, 
either high school, whether they have uh, instructors that are certified or have a master's degree or a PhD de degree to be able to, to teach those courses. So a lot of courses that are offered. Very good. And, and in the, uh, the, the credits that they earned at South Texas College, are they transferable to the Uni University of Texas system or the Texas A&M University system? Yes, we do have articulation agreements with uh, Texas uh, public institutions of higher education. Uh, so a lot of our students are focusing on taking the core courses, like I mentioned, such as English, government, mm -hmm. et cetera. And so what happens is that they um, you know, come to our institution and they are building up a transcript. So that's what we're asking them to come to these events because we can let them know more or less how many college hours they've accrued, which ones are going to be able to transfer if they're going, uh, planning on going to another institution. But we do have articulation agreements with a lot of institutions of higher education. Very good. Is this information on your website or is there a phone number that uh, the students or the parents can call for more information? Yes, our uh, website is www.southtexascollege.edu and uh, we do have a uh, welcome center uh, they can call for just general information specifically about the event. It's uh, 956-872-8311. Very good. Uh, any other information that you think is, uh, is, is relevant to, to give out? Well, um, uh, re with regards to the dual to credit, uh, to degree rather, uh, events that we'll be having at our campus, we do encourage uh, any student uh, that has participated in dual enrollment to visit our campus. Um, like I said, we will be expediting the process for these students so they can uh, register for courses in the summer or the fall at SCC. And what we'll be doing is giving them fast passes uh, so they don't have to wait in line to see an advisor or to get their financial aid ready or to find out how much they're going to be awarded. Uh, the purpose is to facilitate and expedite the process for uh, students and parents that are want to get their, uh, their sons and daughters into SCC for the uh, uh, summer or the fall semester and like I did mention a lot of students um, are only a few hours from you know pursuing uh, actually finishing a cert certification uh, at, at SEC or even finishing an associate's degree so we do encourage you all to come in and speak to our advisors you know everyone will be accessible we are waiting for you to come to, to our to our campuses um, and we're excited to have uh, th these events at our campus and to, for you all to participate in them. Very good pretty awesome deal you get to earn college credit for free through STC, so pretty awesome. I'm sure a lot of parents, a lot of students uh, love the sound of that. Exactly. All yeah. right, Tony Matamoros, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. We appreciate it. Thank All you. right, and as always, we thank you for watching. I'm Ray Pedraza on the McAllen Cable Network.